This is connective tissue review and practice. The instructions for it is at the beginning of the slide. Pause the video, try to identify this, the tissue, then afterwards play the video to check your answers. The first thing you notice about these cells is cluster of two cells. You have one there, you have one here, you have one there. They almost look like little eyes, bunch of eyes everywhere. Whenever you see those double cluster of cells, you are looking at a cartilage tissue. And the cells that are found in the cartilage tissue, they're called chondrocytes. The house or the space that they're sitting in, this darker area behind it, that is what is called the lacunae. So the chondrocytes lives inside the lacunae. Once you've decided that it is a cartilage cell, you need to look for fibers. If you don't see any fibers like this tissue, then you know you are highland, you're looking at a highland cartilage. All of the non-cellular portion in the background, all of this background stuff, this is your ground substance. The first thing you want to do is identify the cells. Here's a cell here with the nucleus. Here's another cell with the nucleus. And even though you don't see them clustered together, they do kind of look like eyes or an egg with the yolk in the middle. So whenever you see that, you know you're looking at a cartilage cell, which means these are your chondrocytes. Sitting in lacunae. The next thing you want to ask yourself is their fibers and you notice that all of these thick collagen fibers running through them and it is massively covered in collagen fibers. When you see all of these collagen fibers then you know you are looking at fibro cartilage. And these are your collagen fibers that you see, all of those lines, the blue lines. So this is your fiber cartilage. The first thing that you notice about this tissue is the dark center in the middle with the concentric circles around each one. Here's another one, concentric circles. Whenever you see those concentric circles, you are looking at bone tissue. One of those big round circles is called an osteon or haversian system or osteon. The center portion of that osteon is called an osteonic canal or the central canal. One of these distinct layers is called lamellae, which means layers. Within those layers are these dark areas. Those are, they contain the bone cell, which is called the osteocyte. In the space called Lacunae. The tiny channels running that are connecting each of the osteocytes, these are called canaliculi, which means tiny canals. All of the lighter area background, those are your ground substance made up of calcium phosphate. first thing you notice about this tissue is this highly branched fibers running through it. Almost looks like branches of a tree. These are your reticular fibers. When you see reticular fibers, you know you are looking at reticular connective tissue. 
In this tissue, you notice that you cannot really see any cells at all. All you see is this thick layers of collagen fibers running through it. And notice that they are pretty much all parallel. In these little tiny spaces are the nuclei, our nucleus of some cells of the fibroblasts. Fibroblasts, remember, are the actual cells that make the fibers. And these dark, thick fibers, these are your collagen fibers. So when all you see is collagen fibers and the nuclei of the fibroblasts, then you are looking at dense connective tissue. The first thing you notice about this tissue is the cobweb or spiderweb appearance with these thick collagen fibers. Also, you see these thinner fibers, which are your elastic fibers. And note the fact that those fibers do not run parallel, but they're kind of crisscrossed. When you see that type of tissue, then you are looking at areolar or loose connective. Other tissue that you identify is this cell here that's kind of granulated. These are your mast cells, which produce and release histamine in an allergic reaction. And then these darker, tinier cells, those are your fibroblasts, and their job is to make the collagen and elastic fibers. Lastly, the light white background, that is your ground substance. The first thing you notice about these tissue are these red disc shaped structures. These are your urethrocytes. When you see these red blood cells, then you are looking at blood tissue. These blue color structure are your leukocytes, which are your white blood cells. These tiny little dots that you see all around here this one, this one, and this one, those are your platelets, which are involved in allowing your blood to clot. And then on this background color, the ground substance, this is your plasma, your liquid ground substance. The first thing you notice about this cell is it has individual little compartments, and it looks somewhat lighter or clear in color inside. Each one of these cells are called adipocytes, which are your fat cells. So this is your adipose tissue. Each one of these individual adipocytes contain fat droplets, and because it is filled with fat, the nuclei gets pushed off onto the side near the cell membrane of the adipocyte. And these are your nucleus. The first thing you notice about these tissue is the cluster of cells that look like eyes. So once you decide that you see these eye looking cells, you know that these are your chondrocytes. sitting inside the lacunae. You should know that chondrocytes are found in cartilage tissue. Next thing you want to ask yourself is, do I see any type of fibers running through? And you notice the, all these tiny little fine lines running through. That's giving this tissue this darker color appearance. The reason for that dark coloring is because of all these lines, which are your elastic fibers.
type of cartilage that contain elastic fibers is elastic cartilage. Here's another tissue with collagen fibers running in this direction. You see elastic fibers running in a crisscross direction. You notice these cells are your fibroblasts. This granulated cell here is your mast cell. So looking at all of those materials inside the tissue, then you know this is areolar connective tissue. Notice the concentric circles that you see. Near the center, this is called the osteon. These tiny dark areas are your osteocytes, bone cells, contained inside the lacunae. Those osteocyte and lacunae lie around these concentric circles called lamellae. These tiny channels connecting the osteocyte, those are your canaliculi. One huge circle is called an osteon. All those structures are found inside the bone tissue. The first thing you notice in this cell is the absence of any kind of cells. All you see is all these rows and rows and rows and rows of collagen fibers. And then you could kind of see little tiny areas of the nucleus of fibroblast, seeing collagen fibers with the nucleus of the fibroblast, then you are looking at dense connective tissue. Notice the distinct large cells that are clustered together. Okay, this seems a lot bigger than the other ones because they're close up but you see the distinct huge cells. These are all signs of a cartilage cell. So these are your chondrocytes sitting inside the lacunae. Notice surrounding the area are these lines running through them. These lines running through them are your elastic fibers. So you are looking at the elastic cartilage. Notice the red discs, which are your urethrocytes. Notice the large blue structure, that is your leukocyte, white blood cell. These tiny little dots everywhere, those are your platelets. The light color background is your plasma. All those structures are found inside the blood tissue. See the distinct eye looking structure here? Here's another one. Here's another one. These are all your chondrocytes sitting inside lacunae. Notice the appearance of all of these tons of collagen fibers. So chondrocytes are found in cartilage tissue. Presence of a bunch of collagen fibers tells you this is fibrocartilage. Notice the appearance of these compartments. When you see these compartments, you are looking at adipocytes. The nuclei are pushed up to the side. Here's one, here's another one. These dark structures are your nuclei. And these are your adipose tissue. Again, notice the appearance of the cluster of the double cells that look like eyes. So this is another cartilage cell. Notice that there is no presence of any kind of lines or fibers. So this is your hyaline cartilage. The first thing you should notice about this tissue, it looks almost like cherry blossom trees, the Japanese cherry blossoms. All of these tiny, branchy looking Structures are your reticular fibers, and then all of these tiny dots are your reticular cells. So this is your reticular connective tissue. 